How's everybody doing? I'm Zach with Blades LLC here, Central Minnesota. We got a special one for you guys today. We're gonna be putting this dethatcher, which I built for my grandstand. It's gonna go on the Z Master. Not that we won't be dethatching with the grandstand anymore, but I wanted to put the dethatcher in front of this machine because it obviously bags more than the grandstand does. So we're gonna be uh, mounting a winch on it today. Uh, putting a mount on here, you can see we have a bar going across. And I'll explain kind of what we're gonna do here in just a second. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. Alrighty guys, we've been going to town here. Wanted to just pause, take a second break, and uh, explain to you guys what we got going on here. So, it looks like it's gonna work. Kind of an engineering nightmare trying to get this winch on here. So, welded a tab off the back here. We're gonna utilize that bolt hole in there. So that should line up. Got our holes here and here. And then I got two stanchions down with support bar in the middle. Uh, just in case we were to run that into something, uh, it's better than these two things just sticking down on their own. Got some holes drilled in those. And uh, I made a little bit of a mistake. I made this a little bit too narrow uh, to fit. It's going to go inside here. But uh, nothing, some uh, shims, washers, something like that can't fix. So 
when we build the new dethatcher for this mower, it'll probably have a little bit narrower of a frame than this anyways. It's kind of what I was shooting for, so. Uh, it'll work for this though. Uh, we have a couple little stanchions welded up here so we could bridge uh, the weights. I still wanted the weights on there for the bagger, so that's how that works. Yeah, I'm excited to get this thing hooked up here. We're going to put the bolts in here and uh, we'll get it wired up next. Uh, I don't really like having this on here. The remote, we're going to try to mount it somewhere off to the side here, I think. So stay tuned for that. We're going to get this thing ripping today. Like I said, it's getting awfully close now my wife's gonna my wife's gonna run to the hardware store here in just a second grab some more wiring because you do have to do some work to the winch to make it work on a lawnmower so uh, I'll show you guys kind of what we do for that and I hope you guys have enjoyed this uh it's kind of a tough video I've kind of been just going to town here but I've been trying to get parts of it so she's gonna go to the store there she is right there gonna go to the store and uh, we're gonna be right back with you here so stay tuned unfortunately I didn't get the wiring process filmed for this video I was kind of in a hurry this day but uh, we did get it hooked up real nice and uh, I'll definitely do a video on the wiring process to come so thank you guys so much for watching like comment and subscribe and we will see you on the next one